In this guide, we're going to look at the larger monsters you will encounter on your journey in the oceans of Europa. This will cover hammerheads, threshers, and the watcher. First, we're going to look at the hammerhead species. There are currently three variants you can encounter, the hammerhead, the golden hammerhead, and the hammerhead matriarch. The hammerhead is an aggressive monster that does high structural damage to your submarine. These are most commonly found throughout the oceans of Europa, as well on missions specifically to kill single hammerheads, swarms, and matriarchs. The regular hammerhead has 350 health, is immune to stun, and has a 50% reduction to bleeding damage. For its damage ranges, we have the following. They do between 40 to 8 bite damage, bleeding for strength 40, and can stun a target from 0.1 up to 3 seconds. They also do between 75 to 100 structural damage to your submarine. For the single hammerhead missions, the hammerheads actually have 15% more health and do 15% more damage than their regular variants. The best way to take down the hammerhead is a single well-placed shot from a railgun. On death, they drop one swim bladder and one alien blood. Swim bladders can be refined into stabilizine, which is needed to process unidentified genetic material. Moving on, we have the golden hammerhead variation. This looks like the regular one, except its skin has a golden shimmer, making it easily distinguishable. It has 400 health, swims slightly faster than the regular variant, has the same immunity to stun, as well as the 50% bleeding reduction. For its damage ranges, they are slightly higher. The golden hammerhead does 50 to 100 bite damage, bleeding of strength 50, and stuns the target from 0.1 to 3 seconds. It can also do structural damage to your submarine from a range of 100 to 200. As with the regular hammerhead, the best way to take on the golden is the same well-placed railgun shot. And again, it drops one swim bladder and one alien blood. Finally, we have the matriarch. These are large passive creatures that only attack if provoked. They have 1000 health and are heavily armored. They have immunity to stun, take 90% reduction from internal damage types, 80% from bleeding, and 50% from burn. They have a large bulbous head and if provoked, they will use this to ram the ship with. Upon impact, they do 350 structural damage in a range of 10 meters. This massive amount of damage bursts through the hulls and immediately results in the death of the matriarch. The best way to take one down before it reaches the ship is with piercing ammo from the coil gun aimed at the head. This part of the matriarch takes times 10 damage from lacerations and gunshot damage. So in theory, outside the submarine with a shotgun could also work. On death, the head explodes and releases 30 hammerhead spawn. These are small creatures with 10 health, do bite damage for strength 2, and have a 25% chance to stun a target for 0.05 seconds. Hammerhead spawn can take extra damage from burning, so are easily removed with plasma cutters. For the matriarch loot, it drops three alien blood and one swim bladder. A final special mention here is if you have the Nusanov artifact on board, this attracts all hammerheads to attack your submarine. Whilst hammerheads can attack other creatures, they will prioritize the Nusanov artifact over everything else. The next set of monsters we're going to talk about are the Tiger Threshers. Currently, there are three variants, the Hatchling, the Tiger Thresher, and the Bone Thresher. Starting off, the Hatchling Hatchling is only found inside caves on the mission to kill a thresher nest. These are very dangerous missions as they are usually protected by regular threshers. For the hatchlings, they have 75 health, do between 2.5 to 10 bite damage, 12.5 to 25 bleeding damage, and can stun a target from 0.05 to 0.25 seconds. In addition to this, they can also do 20 structural damage. For the regular tiger thresher, these are long worm or eel-like creatures that swim very fast and are very aggressive to anything that is not part of its species. They have 150 health and swim relatively fast. For their damage ranges, they do between 20 to 30 bite damage, 20 to 30 bleeding, and can stun a target from 0.2 to 0.3 seconds. In addition, they also do structural damage for strength 30. On death, they drop one alien blood. Each time you kill a tiger thresher, make sure to hit the like button on this video to show the thrill of the fight. 
Moving on, we have the Bone Thresher. These are heavily armored variants that are only found inside a Thresher Swarm. They are incredibly tanky and should be prioritized as they do lots of damage. They have 300 health, are immune to stun, have 90% reduction to bleeding and all internal damage types, as well as 50% reduction to burn damage. For their damage ranges, they cause 60 bite damage, 60 bleeding, and can stun a target for up to one second. Against your submarine, they do 50 to 100 structural damage. The best way to take them on is with piercing ammo by shooting the head. I would not recommend trying to take this one on outside the submarine by yourself as it does a lot of damage very quickly. However, a well-placed regular shotgun shell to the head can do some serious damage. Alternatively, depleted SMG and revolver rounds are good choices as they both have 25% armor penetration. On death, the Bone Thresher drops two alien blood. The next monster we're going to talk about is the Watcher. This is a large spherical creature that doesn't have a direct attack. It has an ability called the Watcher's Gaze. This is an aura that changes in strength depending on how far away the Watcher is to the creatures that it affects. At the extreme end of its ability, it can cause human movement speed to be reduced by up to 80%. It will also cause nausea, which periodically stuns the player whilst they throw up. It also causes psychosis, which can cause all sorts of screen distortions and hallucinations. This can be distracting to deal with when you have other enemies attacking your submarine. The Watcher also buffs some nearby creatures with up to 20% movement speed increase and 50% extra vitality. This affects the regular crawlers, the regular mud raptors, veteran mud raptors, tiger threshers, and the bone tiger thresher. It has 500 health, is heavily armored, and reduces all damage types between 80 to 90%. But it takes full damage from its eye, so a few well placed shots from a coil gun should take it down easily. If you attack a Watcher and it flees, it leaves behind a green mist. This is corrosive and will do 9 structural damage to your submarine if it's within the cloud. Or it will do 1-2 to two burn damage to your character per second if you're within the mist itself. That's all for this guide, check out my links below to support me, and in part 4 we will be looking at Mollocks and Abyssal Creatures. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and until next time. Peace. Before the outro video, I want to give a huge shout out to all my supporters, especially the ones on Patreon. You mean the world to me and allow me to keep doing what I'm doing. Thank you. Na, na, na.